Sleep is a stranger to me. I wander the halls of this place as if in search of something, something unattainable, something beyond my grasp, yet my wanderings always take me back to the same place. It's as if the mask draws me to it in the night, beckoning me. Sometimes I awake to find myself standing before it. It holds for me some dark fascination that I can't explain, yet I'm unable to resist. SS Numidian, a vessel of the White Star Line, has sunk with the loss of some 112 passengers and crew. Mysteriously, no mayday or calls for assistance were received. Only last year, the wife of renowned explorer Edward Armitage was lost at sea on the same ship. The couple were returning from a 12-week exploration of the Ashanti Kingdom of Africa. The exact circumstances of her tragic loss are still unknown, but she is thought to have fallen from the vessel during extreme weather conditions. Lord Armitage disappeared from public view and now lives the life of a recluse at the family estate. This latest disaster is a fresh blow to the White Star Line after... <laughs> It had been almost a year since that night, since I lost my Emily to the darkness of that heartless sea. Her face haunts me in my dreams, and my waking hours bring me little respite from her absence. Sometimes I fancy I hear her voice in the dead of night calling to me, the cruel trick of the wind and of my continued isolation in this place.
I'm not alone. I used to think that perhaps it was a ghost. Oh, I wish it was so, but I know now the truth of it. It is something far more sinister, something I brought upon myself, upon both of us, and from which there can be no escape. I feel it reaching for me out of the darkness. I fear that one day it will take me someplace from which I may never return. Hers was an uncommon beauty. Our love, the truest of any love that has ever been or ever will be. Of all my adventures, none had brought me riches of fortune that could compare to the peace and joy I found by her side, yet I could not save her.
I will rid myself and this world of its curse. Let the cleansing fire eradicate the darkness. I long for its tentacles to retreat from my heart, so that I may see again and remember. Remember her face and the love we shared. face in its place, screaming for help, help that I know did not come then and cannot come now. see her eyes. I hold her gaze. Her lips move, but I hear only the sound of darkness and the waves that carry us through the black night. Only a moment earlier she was begging me to cast the mask into the sea. I deny her and push her from me with such force and mad rage that she is sent backwards and over the railing of the ship, clutching on with slipping hands. I hear her cries now, her pleas for help. Edward, help me, please. And I watch as she slips into the darkness, and I do nothing. All is lost. <laughs> <laughs> 